Which one uh, do we gonna do? You want us to start with? Okay, we'll go. We'll go sweetest, fruitiest to sour and spiciest. All right. So the first one is born strawberry. This is meant to be like really mild, fruity. This was actually featured on a website called The Daily Mom, like one of the top back to school products. So it's like just, it's really, it's really approachable. It's not, um, it's not intense or you know anything like that. Yeah. It's got a nice pink color. You're getting that from the strawberry. There you go. Ah, thank you. Tell us what you think, Nick. Great smell to it. It's got smell, which was actually something we were super, Ooh. super excited about. Because yeah. it's really hard to get powders to have a smell to them. That's delicious. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have predicted that. Yeah. No, I, I, I was that was that was an achievement of the food chemist. Like when they pulled mm. that off, I was like, wow. I could drink that all day. This is really good. It's really easy. So remind me of what's in this one again. It's you've got organic orange, organic strawberry, a touch of organic stevia, which is a natural plant-based sweetener. And when I say a touch, I literally it doesn't take much. You know. Right. Yeah. Because when you're usually buying stevia at like a, at a grocery store in a packet or something. We have it in like the this thing and I think it'll last like 10 years. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and most of those packets are like a tenth stevia and then nine tenths filler because it's so intense. So yeah. we really have like just a little bit. And then we have ascorbic and citric acid. Ascorbic acid, they're both naturally occurring citrus acids. Ascorbic acid is just vitamin C and then citric acid is just another citrus acid that sort of gives citrus its, its bright, you know, sharpness. And uh, that was just because we wanted to help. The strawberry was pretty sweet, so we wanted to bring out that orange a little bit more. Delicious. Yeah. Oh. What's the next one? Okay. Next one is the turmeric, orange, ginger, black pepper. So like I said, the turmeric and orange are full, or the turmeric and the ginger are full spectrum. So the the we'll nutrient content in each of them, yeah, yeah. The nutrient content in each of them is the same pre and post processing. What's really good for you in turmeric is an active compound called curcumin. And so we're making sure that that is at the same levels pre and post processing and then in black pepper there's an active compound called piperine and without without piperine it's really difficult for your body to absorb curcumin so that's why we're including the, the black pepper it does give it a little bit more like a bite i wouldn't say it's spicy but it is like it has like a kick to it the kick is more in your throat than it is in your in your mouth and on your tongue this is the one i'm most interested in because if i was out in the store and you know i've, I've bought emergency before and, and other like powdered drinks and stuff. If if I had seen turmeric, I don't know that I would necessarily jump to right. to, to get that. But the way you, I've been listening to you describe it mm. all day is has definitely captured my my interest. Yeah, it smells little, good, looks good. A little bit of Ooh, sharp. see that's tasty too. You know what's interesting? Oh, so you're right about the the <coughs> kick and the, yeah yeah yeah, but in a, in a very good way. Yeah. It's like all right, it's there. It's something's working there. This is a really funny. I, because it happened, yeah, it happened a couple days ago, and I, I took a screenshot of it and sent it to Will. We got our very first one star review <laughs> on Amazon, <laughs> and they what just was, uh, ripped us for the black pepper. They were just like, "Way too much black pepper." I was trying to water it down, like, but my mouth was on fire, <laughs> disappointed. And I just and I, and I called Will, and I was like. And I, I was like, well, there it is. And, and it's funny because, like, it is something that, like, there's a moment where you kind of take it personally. Right. You're like, oh. It's your baby. They're talking about your baby. Right. Like, I've worked really hard on that. And, and then there's also a moment of just like, okay, like, it's not for you. Like, we have all these other five-star reviews. So right. It's, you know, you know. But what do you say? Do you say uh, something like, bad batch? <laughs> do you yeah, say, do you try another? Do you ever respond to those? Because sometimes I see, like, the, the owner, uh, especially on, like, Google reviews or Yelp, it's like, the owner will come in. We are so sorry that you had a bad experience. We hope we right. can make it up to you later. Do you ever respond to people like that? Yeah, I, you know, this is the, the, literally this is the first one 48 hours ago. So I've actually been thinking about that. Yeah. What was interesting about it was like, I, and I was saying this to my girlfriend last night, was I was like, I felt, I also felt really bad because I sort of sent this person felt like when they ended it with disappointed. Yeah. Like, like I was like, oh, did they think I wronged them? Like I really wasn't trying to like wrong them. Like, and it's a bummer you had a bad experience. I also don't agree with you. But, I th but I, I'm not trying to like sure hurt totally you. totally <laughs> you know totally I mean? yeah. so I got yeah, I, I, there's gonna be some form of reach out right will you ever tone down the pepper or do you think it's right I think it's right yeah like you said this just wasn't the product for that person yeah I mean you can't please everyone I think it's I, I think it's right too I and I like it I mean I, I think that what this the market we're speaking to so if, I mean if this is intense for you the next one we're about to try ginger lemon cayenne which was the initial 
inspiration for the product. I love like, ginger lemon cayenne. Like it's just Anything. it's just it's just masochistic. Like there's not it's like it just hurts. Like it's <laughs> sour, it's spicy. Will there's, you ever do a variety pack so that way someone can try all three without committing to twenty? We're looking into ways that we can do like a sampling where yeah. we get people a sample so they can try out all three before they buy them. Got it. And and we have some ideas for that. Yeah. That seems to be the perfect thing for the individual sachets. Totally. You know, like where I don't know if I'm gonna want twenty of this, but let me take one of each. Exactly. And it'll be fine. Have so. you heard from your customers a little bit about how they're using it? Is it mostly a morning product? So it's it's been. I mean, I think it's it's been a, a, actually really like a mixed bag. So like morning and evening seem to be the two times, and then I, we get a lot of photos of people using it on airplanes, like like a surprising mm. amount of photos of people using. That's it on such airplanes. great PR. Yeah, I love it's that. it's a really cool and and we have <laughs> there's like a family friend who's a an airline flight attendant. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so ginger, lemon, cayenne pepper, it's just sour and spicy. I like it. If, if you don't like it, I can it, smell the, can, the, I, the I, lemon, I, I, yeah. It's not offending. It's, it's meant to be painful. What's interesting to me is- Oh, that is, whew, it's, it's like sour and then like the heat kicks in right away. Oh. Yeah. Do you have any, well, I'll say two things. What's interesting to me about this product is um, typically when things come in powder form, you always get a chalkiness, even if it's very hint, like a hint. Sure. This doesn't have that, which is great. Sure. Have you ever thought about carbonating this? I've been thinking about that this week. Like this, you can make a ginger beer. I'm such an alcoholic. Yeah. It's like no, a no, 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 no. This is something I, I actually, if I had had more time this morning, this is something I need to test. Like I, this morning, as I was getting ready to come over here, I was like, if I had more time, I'd be making a carbonated. I, 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 would just, I just want to try making a carbonated shot. Yeah. It's like, what does this taste like in carbonated water? Because I've had literally in the last month, like, people Because then SodaStream becomes an easy player, right? Totally. It's already in package form. Totally. No, it's, it's, it would be it would be a, it's a really, flavor profile. It'd be a really easy addition. Nice. And, and in terms of you know what you were saying about the chalkiness, I mean, you'll notice is you know some of the bottles that have been sitting for longer, they do settle. Um, that was because right. we didn't want to put in any you know like dissolvents or fillers. Mm -hmm. The other thing is if you go to a juice shop and you look at a bottle of juice. It settles like at the bottom of that juice, sure. you know, green yeah. juice. There's this, there's this sort of anything natural salmon. settles, and totally. people don't realize that. But but yeah. just shake it, and you're good. Which one's your favorite? The last one, on the ginger. Yeah, honestly, so at first you're just like hit with a bunch of different punches, and then you're just like, I, so I like it. Let's keep one, going. Right? Yeah. yeah. So the ginger one, and so cayenne pepper has. Oh, I got some cayenne pepper in my throat. Yeah. <laughs> cayenne pepper has a active compound in it that gives it spice called capsaicin. And that's capsaicin. the same stuff that's in hot sauce, right? And like yeah, so, so capsaicin is basically spice. It's yeah. basically just like like capsaicin is in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And what you're doing is you're but when you're when you're measuring the heat of different products, they exist like on a Scoville heat level, and the capsaicin sure. is in a bunch of those those products um, because you're you're implementing some sort of cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. Our cayenne pepper and capsaicin comes at what's considered thirty thousand Scoville heat units. Okay. Which exists like somewhere between a serrano and a habanero. It's a mm. little bit more than a serrano, serrano spicer than a jalapeno for reference, and a little bit less than a habanero. Um, but we put in such like so little that it's 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 pretty palatable. But capsaicin, back to my original point, is a natural decongestion and a natural pain reliever. Okay. And so it's it's you know if you're if you're if you're stuffed up, it's great. If you have a cold, it also like it can be soothing to the throat. There's actually another company that I I've heard of um, just through my research. That makes cough drops just with cayenne pepper, and the whole idea is like that. Uh, it opens you up. Yeah, soothing your throat. I like the other two; they're all delicious. I can't decide which one I like best, though. If I'm getting sick, I do one of the turmeric and one of the ginger. Um, otherwise, I'll drink. I'll drink really heavy. Now. How many do you drink a day? Would you say one? Okay, I, I, you can drink like two to two packets, two, two to sachets, three. I would yeah. say a day. At a certain point, when it comes to vitamin C, and this is why we only have 500 milligrams of vitamin C in ours as opposed to a thousand, which is in a lot of the vitamin C packets you have out there, your body can really only use about 250 milligrams. Okay. So after 250 milligrams, you're just peeing it out. Right. Now, yeah. there are studies that show if you get sick, your body can actually use more vitamin C, but it's not looking like it's 5,000 milligrams or really even a thousand milligrams. So that's why we sell it on 500. Um, the other thing is if you consume a thousand milligrams 8 a.m. or 500 milligrams at 8 a.m. and 500 milligrams at 8 p.m. Like you have a better chance of actually absorbing more of that vitamin C at those two different time periods than your body's body. Oh, interesting. So